another Friday shave. God, where's these weeks going? How you doing guys? I hope you're okay and I hope you've been having some smooth shaves through the week. Right, not a shave I had planned, but with the heat we've been having here in, in North Wales in the UK, I needed a cold one. <laughs> so it's a cold shave. The soap today is Sterling's Electric Sheep. Now I'm excited, this is, I've had this a while but I haven't used it, I got it for the summer. Um, it's been for ages, obviously, it's, it's glacial. But I've never used a mutton based soap and this is mutton based. And there's the ingredients, if it'll focus, if you want to pause that. And it smells great, it smells so refreshing. The scent notes are lemon, citronella and eucalyptus and it is beautiful and there's the paw so i'm going to use that today brush i'm using is my yaki 26 millimeter mysterious space nice and glittery tuxedo knot nice and soft so i'll get that soaking in the sink i'm soaking it in the sink today skeletal's having a rest and the, the razor of choice today is the Executive Shaving Braveheart. Beautiful diamond machine knurling on there, guys. And this comes in at 100 grams. The head plate, head cap plate, is um, 0.72 millimeter gap. And it's exactly the same as the... Um, Outlaw. It's shorter by 20 millimeters, I think, than the Outlaw, but it comes in at 100 grams as the Outlaw comes in at 80 grams. So it's a beautiful, nice, medium handle heavyweight, but it's the same head. So it'll it'll shave the shave the shame shave the same. I hope this is okay actually because I I did drop it when I was setting up and it did land on the head. So I hope it's okay. Right, the blade, the blade's a new blade for me and we're using Super Gillette Blue Blades. Never used them before. And it is single wrap. Try not to, uh, oh, super stainless. It says on the blade, super stainless. So I'm going to load that and hope this head cap is okay. Should be okay. That's upside down, Chris. Have you ever done that, put it upside down? <laughs> Something's not right here. There we go. Make sure it's tight. The alignment is good. I don't think I've damaged the head. Teeny tiny bit of overhang, if you can see, guys. It's a beautiful razor. I love heavyweights. No bowl today. I'm gonna lather out the bowl, so I'm gonna load the brush up. And then I'm gonna lather on the face. Look at that already, guys. Get a nice lather in it. I can really smell the citronella and the eucalyptus. Scent strength, <laughs> it's a six and a half, seven easy in this. I know it's not to everybody's taste. Not everybody's gonna like this. I'm just gonna scoop that round. You can see I'm just gathering on the tips. I'm not forcing the brush into the puck. Right, I'm gonna go with that to see how we go. I can always go back to the puck. So I'll wet the face and then we'll get lathering up. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scrape that little bit out of the bowl at the moment in case I don't need it out of the puck. I'm just gonna scrape it out. 
just apply it to the face and then rub it into the face, that'll be the pre-shave. Yeah, the weather in the UK, it's been a little bit cooler. Well, today, but as you're seeing this, it was yesterday. Because I filmed it the day before, obviously, because the my internet takes three hours to upload, so I have to do it overnight. I'm going to leave the water in the bowl at the moment, just in case we have to go back to it. Yeah, the weather. Um, a bit more bearable today. Slightly overcast to start with. But Wednesday and Tuesday. Tuesday, my van... For those of you who don't know that new to the channel, I'm a postman for Royal Mail. And when I was on delivery, my van on Tuesday hit 30 degrees centigrade. Wednesday it hit 30.2. No air conditioning in the van. Let's lather up. This is a great brush. Just dip the tips. Paint it on. Nice cooling effect. For a glacial, I've had cooler. At the moment, from what I can feel. Why are you shaving up there, Chris? The cryogen, chisel face cryogen is my favourite. I have only got a sample of that. Because when I did use it earlier in the year, I borrowed it off Paul H. He loaned it to me to try because I wanted to try the coolest soap that you can get. No doubt you guys will think something different than something cooler. But yeah, I wanted a refreshing cool shave. So a cold shave it is. And that should be enough um, load in the brush for the uh, three passes. Just wet the rays in the cold water. I'll leave that in for now. Here we go, guys. First pass. Executive shaving Braveheart. The Gillette Super Gillette Blue Blades. First use. I hope I haven't damaged this head. Because that feels. Wow, that feels so smooth. Let the water out. So I prefer a running tap to rinse the razor. This blade feels so, so smooth. Good feedback on this. Something's not right. I just don't know if I've damaged the head. So I'm just checking it now. feels okay. I thought something wasn't right. I, maybe it's just in, in my mind that I dropped the razor. No, that's okay. Great blade feel. Sorry, feedback. I can't feel the blade that smooth. Great feedback though, so I can hear it and I can feel it. Just 
just mowing the hairs down. Yeah, work. So hot. What's the weather like doing where you are, guys? I know it's been hot in Northern Ireland, in Belfast, and it, Craig? I hope you've been alright over there, mate. Plenty of fluids, keep yourself hydrated. And this razor cost me just over £40. I'll put a link in the description to Executive Shaving where I got this from. With it being the same head as the Outlaw, you can compare the prices and the weights and the stats if you like. I'm not really into that as you know. I just thought it was worth a mention. Wow. It's refreshing. It's not icy cold for a glacial, considered it's supposed to be a glacial soap. So if you like not into menthol or anything like that. It's pleasant, it's not ice cold, it's not numbing my face, it's not making my nose run, my eyes water, it's pleasant and it's refreshing. And I would just like to mention as well, Franklin has not contacted me for the winner of the Black Ice Soap by Sterling for the How Many Miles. So I will be picking the next winner. So it's close to Franklin now. Apologies for that Franklin if you tune in late but I have kept it open now for two weeks. Um, is it two weeks? I think it's two weeks. So I will pick the next winner on Tuesday. And I admit I was going to do it today, but I forgot. To be honest with you. Here we go, guys. Second pass across the grove. Such an efficient razor. I would put the aggression as, for me personally, lower mid aggression. Beautiful. I needed this cold shave. Really comfortable, positive feel in this razor. It's really nice. Thank you to the new subscribers as well. Thank you so much for jumping on board. Really appreciate it. Thank you to all your comments, guys. Thank you so much. And I was thinking of doing something as well, something for the change. I've never done a subscriber request shave.
So if any of you guys got any ideas or if you see me use anything, whether it's a different soap razor blade or whatever brush, give me a setup, give me a combination or leave it in the comments. If you want to see me do a shave, that so, something you would like me to use or a second opinion on or anything like that, just put it in, in the uh, comments. I'll do a request shave. Not that I'm running out of ideas, trust me. <laughs> I just thought it'd be nice for you to get involved in the shave as well. So just, you know, sitting there over your coffee and your breakfast or your lunch hour or whatever and watching it. I just thought it'd be a good idea. Get you involved. This is beautiful. No reaction to the soap, the eucalyptus or anything. I'm just gonna either tap, excuse me, tap more water. Maybe that was a little bit too much. It's definitely thinner. Mind you, you don't need a thick layer on a third pass. Rinse the hand off as I got a bit of soap on it. Not that it matters with this grip. The grip on this razor is exceptional. Same as the uh, is it the handle on the um, the outboard is a sure grip. Exceptional grip. Here we go guys, against the growth. You can hear that. I really like these blades. New blade, never used it before. Sharp and smooth. That's what I like, sharp and smooth. This would actually make a good um a good blade for somebody starting out this way of shaving. I know there's more, there's loads more that would be a good blade for somebody starting out, but these are sharp smooth there's nothing worse than like getting something like the derby extras it can put somebody off you know that you get with the razors like the kits if somebody wants to start out that blade can put somebody off this way of shaving forever in my opinion only and I'm sorry if that is upsets people but that's my opinion Nice. Oh, um, quick word on the the last shave, the loofah, loofah, I can't pronounce it, the loofah um, grooming, the soaps when I use the tears. Um, Johnny, the owner, emailed me and he's informed me that the, the bundle pack of the three soap signature soaps, soaps are in stock but I checked before the shave there's only five left you can still buy them individually but it's a, I think it's a special price if you buy all three and five percent of the profit, profits of each purchase of the soaps goes to a good cause calm And it's all about men's mental health and well-being. It's a great cause that doesn't get mentioned enough. Great feedback on the air uh, against the growth. I 
I've always had a comfortable shave for this, this razor. Good slickness. Great cushion as always from Sterling's. Good performance soap. Yeah, so don't forget, Tuesday there'll be another winner. For the closest mileage I did when I was in Scotland for my holiday. I think if I'm right, the next person doesn't give me the email address. And I'm only keeping it for, open for a week. I'm not keeping it open for two weeks. Before you know it, some will be over and the, the soap will be useless because it's ventilated. Mind you, you can use it all year round. I just thought it'd be a nice thing for the summer. The heat kill you now. It's been ventilated. I think that the third closest was uh, Jim Henderson from Jim Will Shave. So hang on, buddy, you, you might be getting another soap. No, we'll see. Here we go, guys, pick ups. Don't clad it this time, guys. Now we're all a bit clad it. Shows you're human. Executive brave heart. Rinse. Of course, it's cold water. Rinse. Nice fresh towel, thanks, Mrs. B. And Mrs. B told me as well just to mention that thank you guys for mentioning and giving your regards and everything like that and saying hi. She's absolutely buzzing. So thank you really much from Mrs. B. And I didn't start that by the way, Paul H did. Right, witch hazel today. Bog standard witch hazel. But I've added eucalyptus oils in it. Give it a shake. Oh, no restrictor. So, oh. Finger over, there we go. I added about, I think it's about 12, 13 drops to a, I think it's 200 ml bottle of essential oils. Oh, that's nice, that's good stuff. Just a cheap way for anybody else who's starting out. I think this, um, I think this cost me one pound fifty. Uh, I'm not sure about the oils, but they're only cheap. Just be careful when you add the drops, because if you add too much, it can burn the skin. For that size bottle, I think it's 200ml. I think I haven't got my glasses on. Yes, it is, 200ml. I added 12 to 13 drops. Keep adding the drops, shake it, and smell it, just until you can stop smelling the witch hazel, and you can smell the oils. That's what I did. Matching splash, electric sheep, I don't know if you're supposed to shake it, but I'm shaking it. Restrict it. There you go. It's like putting vinegar on your chips. 
What if I hit that before? Yeah, that's nice. That's there's, there's more there's more eucalyptus in the uh, the splash. There's no burn, no sting. That was really nice. Right, I'm gonna need bins for this one. Bomb I've decided is Planet Kind uh, Gillette, and it's 85% recycled plastic for the tub, which is good for the environment, and it's moisturising cucumber and vitamin E. So that's going to be refreshing. Yo, pizzas. It's like eucalyptus. Strong eucalyptus now. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really soothing. That is really nice. No issues, no weepers, no seepers. How do we look, guys? I'm happy. I'm a happy chappy. <clears throat> Sterling's Lettuce Sheep. I know it's not to everybody's taste. But I really enjoyed that, it was really refreshing, it says it's glacial, to me it wasn't that, it was just very refreshing, um, didn't make the eyes water, nose or, or anything like that, excuse me, got a bit of indigestion. It was pleasant and refreshing, I feel really refreshed. Thanks for joining me guys, if you're new to the channel please subscribe and uh, jump on board and support the channel. Have a fantastic weekend guys. Um, Whatever you do, do whatever you do, you gotta get. Whatever you do, enjoy it and stay safe. I'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you then. Stay safe. Bye now.